Welcome to our YouTube channel Dream Dynamics. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm excited to dive into a topic that is close to my heart, habits and practices for a happier, more fulfilling life. Have you ever marveled at someone who seems to effortlessly achieve remarkable feats? Perhaps you have chalked it up to luck, intelligence or natural talent. But what if I told you that behind their success lies a consistent set of daily habits and practices? You see, as monks, we adhere to a disciplined way of life that revolves around intentional habits. These habits are not just rituals, they're deeply ingrained practices that shape our character and guide our actions. But it's not just monks who benefit from intentional habits. Each of us has the power to cultivate a life of purpose and fulfillment by consciously choosing the habits we engage in daily. Think about it, the small actions we take every day, from the moment we wake up to the way we interact with others, ultimately define who we are and the life we lead. That's why it's essential to pay attention to our habits and practices, consciously selecting those that align with our values and propel us toward our goals, while also being mindful of those that hold us back. By prioritizing positive habits and gradually shedding harmful ones, we can transform our lives in profound ways. It's not about overnight success or dramatic changes. It's about the cumulative effect of consistent, intentional action over time. So join me on this journey as we explore the power of habits and practices to unlock our fullest potential and create lives filled with meaning and joy. Together, let's embark on a path of personal growth and transformation. Let's delve even deeper into these habits and practices, exploring their nuances and the profound impact they can have on our lives. The morning gratitude practice, in particular, is a cornerstone of my daily routine as a monk, and I believe it holds immense potential for anyone seeking greater happiness and fulfillment. Picture this. As the first rays of dawn illuminate the world, I awaken to a sense of profound gratitude permeating my being. It's not just a fleeting emotion, but a deeply ingrained practice that sets the tone for my entire day. As I rise from my slumber, I enter a state of reflection and appreciation, starting with what we call the Three Jewels, the Zen Master his teachings, and the noble community of monks. These pillars of wisdom and compassion serve as my guiding light, grounding me in a profound sense of purpose and interconnectedness. But my gratitude does not end there. I extend it to my teacher, whose guidance has been instrumental in shaping my spiritual path, and to my parents, whose love and sacrifices have nurtured me into the person I am today. I also express thanks for my fellow monks who walk this journey with me in solidarity and support. One of the most humbling aspects of being a monk is the practice of almsgiving. Unlike the conventional lifestyle, we do not earn money or prepare our meals. Instead, we rally on the generosity of others who offer us food as a gesture of kindness and support. This act of giving and receiving fosters a profound sense of gratitude and humility within me, reminding me of the interconnectedness of all beings. Furthermore, I make it a point to acknowledge and appreciate the myriad individuals who contribute to my life in countless ways from the people who assist me in creating these videos to those who offer a helping hand in daily tasks 
Their presence enriches my life immeasurably, and for that I am deeply thankful. Yet, perhaps the most transformative aspect of the gratitude practice lies in its capacity to embrace adversity and difficult experiences. It's easy to be grateful for the blessings in our lives, but true growth occurs when we can find gratitude even amidst challenges. Those individuals who test our patience and resilience, often referred to as difficult people, serve as our greatest teachers, offering invaluable lessons in compassion and understanding. So as you contemplate integrating a morning gratitude practice into your own life, remember that it's not just a ritual, but a profound mindset shift. It's about cultivating a deep sense of appreciation for the richness of life, embracing both its joys and its challenges with an open heart. In doing so, you'll discover that gratitude has the power to transform not only your outlook, but your entire experience of being alive. Let's delve even deeper into these practices exploring their nuances and the profound impact they can have on our lives. The first practice I want to emphasize is morning gratitude. Have you ever found yourself caught in the trap of self-doubt and negativity, feeling as though your life lacks value or purpose? It's a struggle many of us face, especially in a world that often measures success in material terms. But what if I told you that practicing gratitude each morning could help you break free from this cycle? Morning gratitude isn't just about saying thank you for the good things in your life. It's about cultivating a mindset of appreciation for every aspect of your existence. From the simple pleasures of a warm cup of coffee to the profound connection we share with loved ones, there is beauty and value to be found in every moment. When we take the time to express gratitude each morning, we shift our focus away from what we lack and towards the abundance that surrounds us. We begin to see our lives not as a series of challenges to overcome, but as a tapestry of experiences to be severed and cherished. But gratitude is more than just a feel-good emotion. It's a practice that can fundamentally transform our relationship with ourselves and the world around us. By acknowledging the blessings in our lives, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and invite more joy, love and abundance into our lives. Now let's turn our attention to the second practice, morning meditation. For monks, Meditation is not just a way to relax or unwind. It's a sacred practice that allows us to connect with our innermost selves and the divine. Morning is an optimal time for meditation because our minds are naturally calm and receptive. By starting the day with a period of mindfulness or reflection, we set a positive tone for the hours ahead creating a sense of peace and clarity that can carry us through even the most challenging moments. Morning meditation comes in many forms, from simple breathing exercises to more structured practices like loving-kindness meditation. The key is to find a technique that resonates with you and allows you to cultivate presence and awareness in the present moment. Let's explore the third practice, journaling. Journaling is a powerful tool for self-reflection and introspection, allowing us to capture our thoughts, emotions and experiences on paper. When we take the time to journal each morning, we create a space for self-discovery and growth. We can reflect on our accomplishments, acknowledge our challenges, and express gratitude for the blessings in our lives. But journaling is more than just a record of our daily activities. 
it's a practice of mindfulness and intentionality. By making a habit of journaling, we cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world, leading to greater clarity, resilience and fulfillment. So, as you consider incorporating these practices into your own life, remember that they are not just isolated activities, they are interconnected elements of a holistic approach to well-being. By embracing morning gratitude, meditation and journaling, you can unlock a deeper sense of purpose, joy and fulfillment in your life. Number four, mindful eating, exploring its multifaceted nature and the transformative effects it can have on our lives. As a monk deeply immersed in this practice, I have witnessed firsthand its power to cultivate a deeper sense of presence, gratitude and connection. Imagine for a moment the simple act of sitting down to a meal becoming a sacred ceremony, a ritual of mindfulness and reverence for the nourishment that sustains us. This is the essence of mindful eating a practice that extends far beyond mere consumption of food. For monks like myself, who typically adhere to a disciplined regimen of two meals a day, sometimes even just one, each instance of eating becomes an opportunity for introspection and spiritual communion. But what exactly does mindful eating entail, and how does it differ from simply consuming food? At its core, mindful eating is about bringing our full awareness to the act of nourishing our bodies. It begins with a deep recognition of the purpose behind eating. For monks, food serves not only as sustenance for a physical body, but also as fuel for our spiritual journey. By acknowledging and honoring this dual purpose, we infuse each meal with a profound sense of significance and gratitude. As we sit down to eat, we approach the experience with a heightened sense of mindfulness, engaging all our senses in the process. We take in the colors, textures, aromas and flavors of the food before us, savoring each bite with an attentiveness that transcends mere consumption. In the serene ambience of the monastery's dining hall, surrounded by fellow monks, there is a palpable sense of collective mindfulness, a shared acknowledgement of the sacredness of the moment. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of mindful eating is its potential to serve as a form of meditation, a doorway to deeper levels of awareness and presence. In a world characterized by incessant busyness and distraction, the simple act of eating mindfully offers a rare opportunity to anchor ourselves in the present moment, free from the pull of past regrets or future worries. By approaching meals with the spirit of mindfulness, we not only deepen our appreciation for the food before us, but also for the interconnected web of life that sustains us. We come to see each meal as a sacred offering and expression of gratitude for the countless beings, human and non-human alike, whose efforts have made it possible. Let's delve deeper into the fifth and final practice, planning your day. This practice is essential because it empowers us to step out of the autopilot mode that often governs our lives and take intentional control of our time and priorities. This fifth and final practice holds the key to unlocking greater productivity, fulfillment and alignment with our goals and aspirations. Picture this is the end of a long day and you're feeling overwhelmed by all the tasks left unfinished and the sense of time slipping away. Sound familiar? Many of us experience this sensation of being pulled in multiple directions, unsure of where to focus our attention or how to regain a sense of control. 
This is where the practice of planning your day becomes invaluable. By setting aside dedicated time each evening to plan for the day ahead, you reclaim agency over your time and priorities. Rather than allowing circumstances to dictate your actions, you become the architect of your own destiny, charting a course that aligns with your values and aspirations. But what exactly does this process entail? It's more than just jotting down a to-do list or filling in a calendar. Planning your day is a holistic practice that encompasses reflection, intention setting and strategic decision making. Start by carving out a few moments of quietude away from the distractions of the day to reflect on your goals, commitments and priorities. What tasks must be accomplished tomorrow? What projects are nearing their deadlines? What personal aspirations do you wish to pursue? As you contemplate these questions, consider the broader context of your life and how your daily activities contribute to your long-term vision. This reflective process serves as the foundation for effective planning enabling you to identify the most important tasks and allocate your time and energy accordingly. With your priorities in mind, it's time to translate them into actionable steps. This is where the art of prioritization comes into play. Rather than succumbing to the temptation of tackling easy or trivial tasks first, focus on the activities that will have the greatest impact on your goals and well-being. One effective strategy is to employ the Eat the Frog approach, popularized by author Brian Tracy. This entails tackling your most challenging or important task first thing in the morning when your mind is fresh and your willpower is at its peak. By conquering the most daunting task early on, you set a positive momentum for the rest of the day and free up mental space for other endeavors. But planning your day isn't just about optimizing your productivity, it's also about nurturing your overall well-being. Intentionally schedule time for self-care activities such as exercise, meditation or leisure pursuits that replenish your energy and nourish your spirit. Moreover, don't overlook the importance of building in buffers and breaks throughout your day. Allow yourself moments of respite to recharge and rejuvenate, safeguarding against burnout and fostering sustained productivity and creativity. In essence, planning your day is an act of self-care and self-empowerment. It's a commitment to living with intention and purpose rather than simply reacting to external demands and stimuli. By incorporating this practice into your daily routine, you cultivate a sense of agency and alignment with your values, leading to greater fulfillment, resilience and success in all areas of your life. So if you're ready to take control of your time and unlock your full potential, I encourage you to embrace the practice of planning your day. Invest the time and effort to reflect, prioritize and strategize and watch as your days become more purposeful, productive and ultimately more fulfilling. As we learn about the transformative power of intentional habits and practices, Let's take a moment to recap the key insights we have explored together. One morning gratitude practice. Starting the day with gratitude sets a positive tone, fostering appreciation for life's blessings and challenges alike. It's about shifting focus from lack to abundance, cultivating joy and fulfillment through mindful acknowledgement of the richness of existence. 2. Morning Meditation A sacred practice of connecting with inner self 
and the divine morning meditation cultivates peace and clarity, laying a foundation for mindfulness throughout the day. It's about finding presence and awareness in the tranquility of the morning, nurturing spiritual growth and resilience. 3. Journaling Journaling serves as a tool for self-reflection and intentionality, offering a space for capturing thoughts, emotions and experiences. It's about fostering self-discovery and understanding, leading to greater clarity, resilience and fulfillment in life. 4. Mindful Eating Mindful eating transforms the act of consuming food into a sacred ritual of mindfulness and gratitude. It's about bringing full awareness to nourishing the body, savoring each moment with attentiveness and reverence, and recognizing the interconnectedness of all life. 5. Planning your day Planning your day empowers intentional control over time and priorities, leading to greater productivity, fulfillment and alignment with goals. It involves reflection, prioritization and strategic decision making to ensure that daily actions contribute to long-term vision and well-being. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the transformative power of intentional habits and practices. If you found this video insightful and resonated with the practices discussed, I encourage you to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more content aimed at unlocking your fullest potential and creating a life filled with purpose, joy and fulfillment. Together, let's continue to embark on this path of personal growth and transformation, one habit at a time. Until next time, may you find peace and inspiration in the practice of intentional living.